So what's up? You said you wanted to talk to me about veganism, right? Right. Well, I saw a few of your videos um, specifically related to the vegan teacher, and you mentioned that you wanted to have a real conversation about veganism, and um, I'm more than willing to do so. So I guess, um, yeah, I mean, I, I guess you can ask me anything, or if you want, I can ask you um, about your positions related to the topic. But yeah, we can go. There. It's it's interesting that the vegan teacher was very uh, like refute. Well, she didn't actively refuse, but like you'd think that she'd want to actually spread veganism, but she didn't really seem to be too interested. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I guess. Um, I mean, I'm assuming you're a vegan, right? Yes. Yeah. Almost okay. five years now. Wow, how's that been? It's been pretty great. <laughs> Can't complain. Yeah. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 22. Okay, cool. So, all right, not too bad. Five years. Yep. Oh, that's great. Um, yeah. So, I mean, my my position on veganism is like, I mean, like, I honestly, I personally don't want to become vegan. I mean, I know it's selfish, but I just don't necessarily care as much. But I do understand that there is a very reasonable argument to make that as we do progress as a society and we do have the resources to reduce animal suffering, that it is something that we, like, you know, you can make a really solid argument that it would be morally correct to do it because we could. And there would probably be a lot of benefits uh, to shifting more towards veganism in general. So would you say that you agree with the idea that we should include animals um, in sort of like moral consideration? In consideration, yeah, for sure. Uh, I would still okay. put human beings before animals, though. Sure. I mean, I um, I think I generally think in terms of levels of sentience and experience. So, and humans generally have a higher cognitive capacity to understand, you know, suffering, well-being, etc. So, I, I usually would place um, humans, I guess, in terms like more more like have more ethical value. However, um, obviously, I think that not only animals have that consideration, but I think enough to where um, I think it, it should be a moral obligation that if you have the the resources to go vegan, that you ought to do so. Yeah, I understand that. Um, I wouldn't I personally wouldn't put it because uh, you had met, like you mentioned, uh, basically, what, what did you say? Like was the reason why you value humans more because they're like sentience and whatnot. Yeah. Or like intelligent. Yeah. I don't see that. I mean, if there was like a being that was more sentient or more intelligent than us, then I'd still value humans more. I don't give a fuck. I'm just, I'm just a human first, I guess, kind of guy. Um, yeah. I mean, what you, what you're saying makes sense. You know, I don't necessarily think that, I mean, we, if we focus on the suffering, see, I'm not like against killing animals. I do think that like the way in which we, I guess you could say harvest animals is kind of a problem. Uh, I know that I think they've done studies where like the cows know they're going to die. Obviously, like, you know, in order to get milk, you do have to put female cows and they have to constantly be pregnant, which you can make an argument about rape there. Um, and I know like the little boys, the boy cows, they just get turned into veal almost instantly. So, you know. Sure. So, so I, I'm a little confused then. Do you or do you not consider the well-being of animals in terms of your ethical consideration? Because it kind of seems uh, weird to me that you would say that you're not necessarily against killing them, mm -hmm. but you just don't want to mistreat them. Yeah, yeah. Mistreating them, mistreating them would be killing them. I don't correct? think that. I don't think that it's, it's mistreating animals to kill them. I think that it is part of like our natural, I guess you'd say, food cycle to eat animals. So I don't think it's mistreating <laughs> them to go through like a the 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 normalcy, you know, of eating animals. Um, sure, but like normalcy and like uh, something being natural, like that's not relevant to like ethical considerations, right? Like, I think it I is mean, a like, little bit. You don't think it's not? You don't think that it's a it's a reasonable argument to say like that the the reason that I'm comfortable eating animals or that I think it's morally right to eat animals is because like I'm supposed I was designed to eat animals. I think well, that there's moral consideration there. Yeah, that. That number one, that claim is uh, disputed, but I mean, we're also uh, designed to die from certain diseases. True. Uh, fa famine is incredibly natural, but we wouldn't consider these things um, ethical, right? No, but we'd we all, wouldn't... but also like the, the point of human existence is to continue to exist. So, um, you know, dying to famine would go against that. Eating animals would go for that, right? Because it would help us continue the... to exist. 
the point of human existence in terms of what like in just in terms general of, it's like a, the point of it, the point I of mean, existing is to continue to exist like there's no there's no other meaning of life other than the fact that we're just supposed to keep on living of as far uh, as like what we can actually we can actually demonstrate you know sure I, but like you, well i if i my my personal life right if, if other people are dying at the hands of of someone else um regardless of whether or not they're dying if i'm living then i shouldn't according to that the purpose that you just outlined i shouldn't be worried about other people dying because my existence is persistent correct? well no but i'm talking so, like, about if, well no but i'm talking about the existence of human beings as a whole sure i know but i'm i'm talking specifically related to um like ethical dilemmas and like ethical considerations so when we think about like what is it that we need to um or or what what should we be considering when we like ask um moral uh questions we mm -hmm. need to be asking ourselves yeah like uh w who we're considering in the framework and and whether or not we have a framework that is like consistent and uh going off of like consistent or logical principles sure so so you you hold um okay so l let me put it this way if you um you would say would you say it is um, it, to kill a human, it would be mistreating that human, regardless of whether or not they quote unquote suffered? I guess it depends on the context of why we killed them. I mean, did we kill them in sure. like a war over freedoms or something? We we killed them in order to eat them because you get taste value out of eating them. Oh yeah, then I would say like yeah, that's morally wrong. But I also again like humans are like my main right. selling point. So, like I think that humans sure. in general should be, you know, whatever so, helps humans so, live. Yeah. So what is true in the animal context, which if true in the human context would, would, would make you have the position in the human context, or is it just, is it just merely the, is it just merely the idea of species, which seems completely arbitrary? I, well, hold on, because your question is a little loaded. So wait, just rephrase your question, just like dumb it down a little bit. Okay. So in one context, mm -hmm. you have the animal being killed for food mm -hmm. and you um accept that as being i guess like ethically okay yeah or, or right yeah and then the other context you have the human being killed for food and you would not consider that ethically okay so there's something there's a difference or at least a set of differences within each context mm -hmm. that you would have to that if you applied to the other one you would also have to hold that same view unless you're unless you want to just commit to like a contradiction right well so, i don't think i don't think, example, I'm being, I don't think i'm being contradictory to say that i value humans more and uh eating meat you know propagates human existence so it's okay to eat meat um, right but what 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 i'm asking is specifically um what are those sets of differences are you so are like, you oh, you're yeah. asking me what why i value humans more than animals or is it just yeah sure is it just merely the fact that they're we are, we are two different species yeah well i, I value humans more than animals because i value humans because i'm a human yeah because because you're a human yeah i'm human so i and, value and, other humans yeah i think that humans are better than animals yeah. so if so you you mentioned earlier if there were other species um who had higher sentience level higher cognitive capacities mm -hmm. you would be um you would be morally okay with those beings dying as well, right? Uh, not necessarily. I mean, if we're not designed to eat those or if they're not part of our like eating infrastructure. I mean, like, we're talking about a fantasy race of aliens that would have to come here that would be smarter than us. Sure. So assuming we are designed and fully capable of eating them, uh, is it then morally okay to slaughter them by the billions per year, um, even if they have higher uh, a level of sentience and even if the suffering... We could even maximize it to uh, infinity, honestly. Um, that's a good question. I guess I haven't really thought about it before. I mean, I could probably say no. I mean, they have other value outside of eating them, considering if they're more intelligent than us, then they could spread technology. Uh, so if they were working with us in a positive context, it would be, I imagine, morally wrong to hurt them because they are actually trying to help us propagate our own existence. So you don't just care about species, then you also, at least to some degree, care about um, whether or not a being can experience well-being, right? Experience what? Well-being. Well-being? Yeah, like... Um, uh, I don't... I don't like sentience, I don't know that I said that. I just said that, like, if they can share technologies that would better our existence, then I wouldn't want to kill oh, them. Oh, okay. Because we'd be getting so other just, value out of that. 
Okay, so just uh, removing the the technology argument, um, let's say that they don't. Let's just say that um, like excluding all of these arguments, just just um, isolating the very fact that they are a different species mm -hmm. and they um, have a higher level of sentience than us. Mm -hmm. With knowing those two things about them, um, is it morally just for us to be? slaughtering them by the billions per year i guess that would come from a necessity argument i mean do we need to i would say no i mean we're already slaughtering no. other animals by the billions so we don't need yeah. to slaughter new animals and, sure right? but we or don't new, need to slaughter the animals or whatever yeah sure but you don't want to go down the necessity route because we don't need to slaughter the animals we're currently slaughtering i mean certain certain tribes certain communities may um rely on animal products to persist but mm -hmm. we certainly don't I think that generally we, I would say that we kind of do. Yeah. I think that there's definitely like an overconsumption or like an overwaste. I think we waste like a quarter of the meat or whatever that we, we get. But no, I would say that we generally do need to, to kill these animals. To, Why? To, to eat and survive. To, we don't, but we don't need, there's nothing about animal products specifically that we need. Well, there's a couple of things. There, there's a few what? things. Like I know that what, like, what, being, what I, that? I know that being vegan, like you still have to take like animal supplements in order to be like healthy. So there's a few things you don't, you don't you don't you don't have to take animal supplements. You can take yeah, you like can take byproduct supplements. You can't you no, no none of the supplements I take uh, have um, animal products. I mean most most people should be taking supplements in general. Sure. I think it's like 40 percent of Americans are still deficient deficient in B12, which is funny because that's a vitamin that people uh, often accuse vegans of not getting. But why why is supplementation bad? There's nothing inherently bad about supplements. Well, no, I'm just saying that I my understanding is that there's no way to be fully vegan because like there's supplements that you have to get but i know that veganism is about reducing your killing animals well then that would that would be that you would be, be drastic vegan. you'd be drastically reducing the footprint sure okay but yeah i'd say that okay so when you say need you're saying it in a very idealistic context right so i say that we need to kill these animals because massive a massive shift in our like food uh infrastructure uh could be catastrophic uh, economically so we kind of do we, need to because it's it is and like let's be honest it's it's cheap to make meat the way we make okay. it. it it no it's a real it's a real argument there's like a socioeconomic yeah, aspect uh, to it no well it's far more cheap to uh to produce plants than it is the reason why meat is so cheap here in the west is because we subsidize the hell out of it but in terms of in terms of the actual resources that go into well we um, subsidize more than just and, meat and i mean we subsidize production. we subsidize like corn and whatnot too like farmers in general are subsidized pretty high. yeah and 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 guess yeah. where the majority of guess where the majority of corn in this country goes to it goes to feeding cattle same mm -hmm. with soy Sure. So like the so we we spend an an exorbitant amount, amount of resources mm -hmm. um in order to farm and and uh do animals. But in terms of like economic the, like the economic argument, we mm -hmm. know that like the world isn't going to go vegan overnight. It's not it's not oh, as sure. if we're all just all yeah, so it's going to be it's going to be it would be happen through a slow market incentive transition. Mm -hmm. Um more than likely where yeah we just slowly phase away, which is exactly what's happening to the dairy industry right now. Yeah, you, I'd be fine with see, that. Obviously, yeah, I like obviously like oat milk, almond milk, all of these alternatives, even for non-vegans, are becoming uh, way more popular and they're way better for the environment in general. So if anything, it's an economic plus to have veganism. But even if it was like, let's say if, if I were to grant you that there was some level of economic harm um, by going vegan, it still wouldn't. Uh, I guess triumph the ethical argument. I think that, it, I think um, it does. I mean, if, if there is, because I think that there would be like you know we have to obviously do it slowly. Uh, but I think that there is. Sure, I mean, if 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 it has happen. a negative impact on the economy, it's going to be harder for poor people to eat. Um. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. I mean. I mean. Yeah. Depending on how you define like, or w w depending on whether or not um the economic harm is going to harm those specific specific communities and Probably, i would actually yeah. argue in fact that um, a vegan society would be more beneficial not only for low-income communities but it would be more beneficial for um uh like uh, minor uh specifically like uh, racial and ethnic minorities as well um mm -hmm. the uh, racial and ethnic minorities are more likely to be lactose intolerant they're more likely to develop atherosclerosis heart disease which is caused by um dietary cholesterol and saturated fat and you mm -hmm. can only get the majority of that stuff comes from animal products especially dietary cholesterol 
So there's a plethora of health benefits. We know for a fact you would you would concede that um, the environmental arguments are uh, well substantiated, right? The what arguments? The environmental arguments. Have you heard anything related to vegan environmental arguments? Like like positive environmental impact. Yeah, sure. I know that it has like a positive impact on the environment. Yeah, for sure. An an incredible, yeah, an Mm -hmm. incredible positive environmental impact. Mm -hmm. But putting aside health and putting aside environment, uh, veganism is fundamentally an ethical philosophy. So um, I kind of want to retrack back to uh, what we were talking about earlier in terms of um, you, you said that, you know, you don't uh, find it a moral wrong to kill animals for food because they are a different species. And then I give you the context in which there is a different species, but they have higher levels of sentient experience. Mm-hmm. And did you say that you that w- would be morally wrong to kill them, assuming that we don't need to? Well, yeah, well, we um, because it wouldn't, it wouldn't really make sense to eat them. I mean, at this point, it seems like we're kind of picking at the specific morals of it based on like a fantasy scenario. So like I could pretty much easily just well, be like animals are less than humans, so I'm fine with eating animals. Um, okay, wait, uh, just right before that, though, you said it would depend on if we need to, but then we still, we still haven't established that we need to eat. Well, we do, but we, but we, but we we do need to eat them right now. Like we couldn't make a drastic shift. If your argument's like, yeah, I think that we should, uh, focus on shifting. Okay. So, well, hold on. If if your, if your argument is that we need to make a slow shift away from meats, that's totally fine. But the way that everything's set up right now, like it would be disastrous to just instantly go right to vegetarian or veganism. So there needs to be like a slow shift, right? So right now we do need to eat animals as we replace the infrastructure slowly. It's not even necessarily that I think that um, we ought to take a slow shift. It's that I know that that is going to happen. I know that we aren't going to take that dramatic shift. So it's kind of irrelevant. Uh, let, let me just focus on you, for example. Mm-hmm. Do you need to eat animal products? Do currently? I need to? Oh, no, probably not. Like, I could probably afford to eat vegan. Sure. Okay. So, so yeah. Okay. So for you personally, you uh, you don't have that personal necessity argument right so if it is so so if it is unnecessary for you to um you know contribute to uh slaughtering a different species and uh, let's uh, let's posit the alien species again Mm -hmm. um that has a higher sentience level higher cognitive capacity um and and it is unnecessary for you to contribute to that is it morally okay merely due to the fact? Well, that I, I'm, they but are I just, we're, I'm just, I'm just, we're just going to remove the alien part from it because it's like it's unnecessary. So, what, sure, sure, sure. So, like, you're just let's go with the what we have right now, which are like animals. So, you're they're telling me like just right. rephrase it with like just the current animals, because like I don't well, need to eat animals. Yeah, yeah, but the thing is, is what I'm trying to isolate and what I'm trying to demonstrate is I think that your ethical system, if it mm-hmm. comes down to just species centricism it's going to end up um it's going to end up just it's going to lead to sort of uh reductio so, so you're that, you're basically saying that i shouldn't be focused on the fact that they're animals i should be focused on the fact that they're not as smart as me is that your argument here i think you should i think you should focus on the fact that they can experience well-being because i think that well, i never you, said that they couldn't i just said that like we're no i know i know but i think that yeah. you should include that in your moral consideration which at the moment it seems like you only care about the fact that they're a different species yeah, if no, like I, like their food. Yeah, no, like they're like we eat them. Like that's pretty much the whole thing, I suppose. I I don't think that I, like because w- when we when we talk about like there's no alien species that's coming here and having like you know that we have the ability to I don't know, communicate on the same level. Like animals aren't that. So okay. you know, I under, I understand we're trying to shift like my moral framework, like what I base my morals on. Um, exactly, <laughs> because we don't want to we don't want to have a moral system that is inconsistent. Uh, contradicts itself, and we don't want to have a moral system that leads us to absurd conclusions. Right, but I don't. I don't think and, that. I don't think that the moral system is like that. My my argument is like animals. Yeah, no, like animals are less than humans, right? Uh, that well, the argument isn't even whether or not animals are less than humans. The yeah. argument is whether or not animals deserve moral consideration enough to not um, be justified in slaughtering them. I think by that the they deserve. I think that they deserve enough. Uh, enough of that. 
in order for us to make a shift away from eating them for sure. But I don't think that we should be okay. forcibly yeah, forced to not eat animals. Well, okay. The, the, the force aspect is, is a, a yeah. bit of a red herring. What I don't I'm think what it's I, a okay. Herring. So you're, you're telling me that you don't <laughs> want me to eat animals. I'm trying yeah, to, yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, but I'm not literally, I'm not physically coming to your house. No, I know. But at this you. point like, we're just, yeah. now we're just kind of getting off into a tangent. Like, let's just, let's keep on track. Like you knew what I was saying. We're playing semantics now. So sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Like, so you, so is is the fact that they can experience well-being um at all of moral consideration to you is like, a, fa like a factor oh pro yeah sure that's why that's why like i think that ideally as a society we should get away from eating animals because like i think that like yeah i can empathize with a cow i mean it has feelings and emotions sure and in the human in the human context though you would say let's um in the human context though you would say that um it would be unethical to participate in, um, in you know, the exact same situation if it was applied to the human context. Yeah. Simple. And but it is ethical or not ethical to do it in the in the animal context. Because at, at first, when we started this conversation, you said that it it was um, morally okay to kill animals for food. But then I just recently asked you if you consider. Um, if you consider well-being a part of moral consideration, but if you do, well, just because, just because, it it's, just because, it be just because it's part, just because it's part of moral consideration doesn't mean that I automatically think that it's morally wrong to eat animals. Like, yeah, I can empathize with animals, but I can also empathize with humans wanting to eat animals. So I think it's okay to eat animals. Can you I, give I, me? A, mm -hmm. Can you give me a different context in which you have moral consideration for something, but you would still say? it is um, ethical to violate that moral consideration because literally, I'm really literally, literally every single person engages in this type of like thought process with every single other person that lives outside of their bubble. So like, what, what you're you saying, so basically like, uh, let's just say white people in general, right? Like white people be like, yeah, I, I can appreciate the issues that are going on with black people, but they don't really care enough to advocate properly uh, for actual rights or like actual changing it like they they they, they think about it. they're like yeah this is this, it would be ideal to change it um but, but they don't put the effort into changing it so I'm, the difference with veganism is it mm -hmm. isn't um is it isn't active advocacy it's just not participating in um in the uh slaughter of animals if i would say to white people mm -hmm. that they that they at the very least would have the um the uh, ethical obligation to not participate in furthering harming black people sure but i wouldn't i wouldn't That's say they point. i wouldn't say all white people have like an absolute uh duty to spend all of their time um in political advocacy right mm -hmm. yeah in, in the same way that i don't think even vegans have a moral obligation to participate all of their time in vegan advocacy but i would say that we all have a moral obligation to not participate in in harming animals sure but i mean also you know it, it's it's expensive to eat right so it's cheaper to eat like meat products so like i mean there's a hundred um, different ways to go that's a that's, that's, that's it's an extremely it's a, debated it's not a, it, no it's not it's an objective fact that like it's cheaper for me to eat meat products than animal products. It, it's I mean, not an, it's not an objective it, it, no fact. it is the, no it's cheap the so cheap it, the cheapest things on the planet are what like no 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 it doesn't it doesn't it, no it doesn't legumes, sure sure all no, these other things but going to the store, like it's cheaper and it's healthier to eat like a mixture of animal and plant like protein. Go, and all that. Going so, to what store? I mean, the I, supermarket. I, I, there's, the supermarket. There's, pl there's plenty of um, people who do uh, vegan budget diets. Sure. I can, I that's can fine. Right. That's it, fine. But it's still, can, it's still a, a, non, a, non -vegan, a non vegan budget diet is still cheaper than a vegan budget diet. So. Like it's cheaper and it's like, I mean, it's do you have, cheaper. Do you, have, do you have any empiricism related to it, this? Or is I, it just going to the supermarket, not just going to the supermarket. I mean, if you don't buy your own groceries, that's on you. But like, the thing is, is like, I, I do. No, but it's, it's, <laughs> che do, it's yeah. cheaper. It's cheaper to eat like a mixture. Well, it's cheaper and healthier to eat a mixture of animal and plant protein. Or, I, uh, plant I don't, I don't think you have enough data to actually support that. You don't think I have enough data to support that it's cheaper to eat? No, no I think that, animals? I think, here's what I think. I think that, um meat alternatives are are more often expensive. more expensive yeah. but but they're unnecessary in a vegan sure. diet so I, I mean you can say it's probably more convenient sure but rice and to, beans to isn't be... like but like rice and beans like there's a health aspect and like i'd rather eat meat because it's healthier to eat like especially leaner meats mixed with 
like plants and vegetables and whatnot. What what's healthier about it? It's like healthier. Like the most balanced diet is like you know lean uh, meats and then vegetables and then whole grains. What what about it is more balanced than a plant based diet? It's just better for you, right? Like you're supposed you're supposed where does where where does that <laughs> oh, no, no, you need to where you need no, to no, no, actually where, 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 what where, about it where do, <laughs> We're designed to eat like mixtures of plants and animals, what, right? Yeah, like that's it's a healthier what, diet. It's like it's what, a it's a more optimal diet in general to eat like a. What, solid what about mixture. it is more optimal? Can you give me like a, any? I, okay, so literally, that you there can't there isn't there. In the, in the you're gonna, there isn't a single professional athlete that is like. There's no top vegan athlete like from a. Oh pure, yeah, there is. Uh, um, just just like for. There is no there any there's every single athlete that is top tier is non-vegan there are vegan athletes that are up there but like it's optimal performance is a mixture between plants and animals 100 percent. so kendrick ferris it doesn't matter you're giving me an, you're giving me wait, an out wait, you're giving wait, hold, wait, on, hold, no, hold on hold on hold on hold on you're giving hold just just no 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 no, no, no. you're responded. hold on i'm just gonna reiterate the top tier yeah okay yeah. top tier yeah top tier the top that you're giving me an outlier the 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 topest of tier the only u.s male weightlifter that the United States sent to the Rio Olympics, Kendrick Ferris, who broke a world record that year, mm -hmm. did so on a plant-based diet. The mm -hmm. toppest of tier of athlete. You said that it was, there are none. I just gave you one example on the top of my head. So that's absolute BS, number mm -hmm. one. And number two, it wouldn't prove whether or not vegan diet, vegan when did, when, so when optimal. So when did he, when did he beat, break that world record? And has it been broken before? Um, he broke it, I believe in 20, it was, what was the Rio Olympics? 2018? I think, I think it was 2018. Just look up Kendrick Ferris. I mean, there's been other, there's, pl there's a few other, um, uh, Patrick Baboumian. He, he's a vegan strongman. He's broken yeah, uh, he, world records before. Kyrie Irving. Sure, but the, the top, the top, player, he, the top tier of strongmen are all meat eaters. Okay. I mean, you can say that, but what about yeah. a vegan diet prevents them from achieving the same thing? You, I don't you know. It just given... it just does. I mean, I don't know. Well, it it, it doesn't because the burden not, of proof would not, have to be on you. I mean, like everybody they're, that that's... they're not they're they're not choosing to be a, like a meat eater or a vegan on like an equal playing field. They were born and raised vegan and taught. Mm -hmm. I mean, they were born and raised meat eaters, and they were taught that uh, they 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 need animal products in order to um, sustain that amount of strength. But there's no actual empiricism or um you know research that that would say that there is something missing in a plant-based diet that would prevent them from achieving the exact same so your your strength. argument is that like it's like there's basically like it's a conspiracy that people that's why that we don't have people who are vegans that are no i, I don't think it's a conspiracy i think that it's uh, it's tradition and it's um ingrained in our society and people have cognitive dissonance Oftentimes, um, they 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 see a video of a dog getting hurt online and share it and say, "Wow, you know, I can't believe anybody would let an animal suffer like that," and yet they still participate in the slaughter of um, mm. you know a, of animals in horrible, cruel conditions. So I think a lot of people have cognitive dissonance. I think a lot of people um, haven't thought about veganism hard enough, but. You know that's starting to change. Veganism has been on the rise now, at least for the last decade, in an extraordinary amount. So, you know, I think I think times are changing. I think veganism is ultimately going to be the future. But in terms of like people who um, are like athletes or whatever, top athletes, and how there's like not very many vegans. I mean, there's just not very many vegans in the world. So it's really hard to. But the fact again, the fact that Kendrick Ferris, <laughs> the one U.S. male weightlifter that we sent to the Rio Olympics, was vegan. I think that still speaks quite a bit about um, the fact that you can still achieve the same amount of strength on a plant-based diet. Sure, just give me one sec. I'm trying to figure out what uh, what records he be. <clears throat> I'm just trying to look into this Kendrick Ferris guy. I hope I I hope I got his name right. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. there's one thing is that like yeah, so he stopped eating meat for like two years, right? Um. I'm trying to figure out the world records that he broke. Sure. I mean, this is also, I think this is all ultimately irrelevant to everything, mm -hmm. though. This was just somebody that I came up with on the top of my head because you claimed that there are no top, top, top athletes that are were vegan. Um, well, I claim that the top of the top are all non-vegan. They're meat eating. I know that there are some. Vegan right. But, but, even, but even that wouldn't 
say anything because it's it's the ninety nine percent of the world is non vegan. So it would be it, it you even if there were no non or even if there were no vegans, it you can pretty much chop chop it up to you know a statistical anomaly. Like the chance that the chances that um um people that are a part of like what one percent of the world population are have to be represented exactly in in like the statistics of top athletes is kind of like um an unfair thing what i'm asking because you because you kept reiterating that this is like well i'm still trying to find where i'm still trying to find where this guy broke the world records i'm still trying to figure it out okay Um, but i I, again i just think it's irrelevant like well no i know but you said he broke world records in 2018 i'm just trying to figure out what world well i'm pretty sure it was 2018 i know i know he broke a world record um while he went there I'm just trying to find it. Um, during the Olympic trials on May, hold on, Ferris broke the U.S. Uh, uh, I guess I might have been the U.S. record. I might, I might, I might have, but still, I mean, the U.S. record is still um, an incredible achievement. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so he hit the, he hit the U.S. record. So I, I was wrong that it was a world record, but I mean, uh, a U.S. Uh, weightlifting record is still top of the top. Sure. Well, I'm just trying to get a couple of different uh, like factors. Uh, let's see. I just don't find this. Well, because if he because if, relevant. Well, because if he re, because if he reduced down to a lower weight like bracket, uh, then you can make an argument about just maintaining strength and actually. Sure, but like, like like okay, let's even um, assume like Kendrick but, wasn't a well either a, way, right, right? Okay, so either a way, vegan at all? Like I, I mean, I, I think it I think it's totally irrelevant to the conversation about um, being optimal, and I think it's totally irrelevant to the conversation mm. um, regarding regarding ethics. Um, mm-hmm. Because there's no, uh, every time you've claimed that the vegan diet isn't optimal, or that um, a uh, a more optimal diet must include meat in some way, mm-hmm. you haven't actually referred well, to again, like nutrients a, within sure. those diets right. that, are, that are like inaccessible and in, in, in a plant based one. Well, right? I mean, I guess I could just look them up because I know that there are definitely diets that there there are definitely nutrients in that are inaccessible, of course. To when you like, there's well, things I mean, like creatine, but like, but um, what, but what wouldn't you be able to get that you can't just at, at the very least supplement oh because yeah you, most, you can, most people you can, should be you can totally supplement most, things yeah for sure so then and then what's wrong with supplementing so Nothing. what what like, would so, so why, why not why not just do it sure well most I mean, people should be doing it anyway i mean supplements are expensive as well yeah for sure people have like very unhealthy diets in general i mean people should be eating better so in general and i would i would say that eating better is usually like from what my understanding is a mixture of plant and diet like plant and animal like proteins or plant and animal resources okay okay so um I think we went. I think we. I think we went. Honestly, went too far mm-hmm. um, into sort of the um, not even empiricism because we haven't referred to anything empirical. I think we've gone too far into sort of the optimal health arguments. Mm-hmm. I think. I think it's more poignant to um, to focus on the ethics because we know that, for example. Um, well, so you're we gonna. Can, you're, you're we gonna. Can, we can live. We can live a lifelong. Uh, and be vegan and be completely healthy so oh for sure yeah yeah well then okay okay, so So, right so then we talk about the ethics of it and like we talked about how like right now based on our like food infrastructure that it's we kind of need to maintain the way we are we could do a slow shift that's totally fine but then we're talking about like individually it's like individually is it ethical like since i have the resources to not eat animals should i stop is it morally wrong to be eating yeah animals. and 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 what i'm saying is that you apply one standard in the human context and one um without the human context and then you referred to species as being the the difference maker but then you mm-hmm. also claimed that um that sort of like that you do consider um well-being as a part of like ethical consideration well, yeah, but then you sure. simul- I again i don't see how you can both consider something part of ethical consideration but think it is ethical to violate that thing okay so like i so i think that i'm better than a dog but like i also like and i think that it is kind of enslavement to own dogs but i still own dogs like do you agree is that ethically wrong to own dogs um i don't think so i think that uh, adopt i think adoption I mean, you're you're adopt you're adopting you're taking care of them. It's yeah, yeah, as so long what? as you're giving they, them as long as you're giving them love and life. That's not that's not akin to slavery. You're not forcing them. Now to you are forcing do them, labor. Yeah. 
Well, you're forcing you're them not, to, no, you're to, not. to be in. Yes, you are. Like you're a little. Well, like they're not supposed to be enslaved. They're supposed to be running free range, right? Like you're not. Yeah, but to you know, drugs. but but by letting them go, you know that that would be a detriment to their well being because they're not. Actually oh, we don't need bred. to let them go. We would just do it slowly, and we would just stop. Like you know, we would stop enslaving. Oh, them. and and oh, we, yeah, we a should slow totally ethical stop. shift. I mean, we should stop breeding. If you if you're asking a question about breeding, then yeah, I'm gonna say that we should stop breeding animals so, okay. for the mere purpose. So of, you're telling me that. Because you brought, mentioned before, you're telling me that the reason why it's like it's okay for us to own dogs is because we bred them into submissiveness, right? No, I'm saying the reason well, you why brought it's that up. okay. I think the reason why it's okay to adopt an animal is because that animal is going to have a uh, suffering. Yeah, but when you, but if, when if you, it's not but, adopted. You, but you said that like if we let them run free, right? We could always let them run free, right? Put them in like a space, let them run through whatever. But you said that like they were bred into, they were bred to be companions. Not, not just, n not, not that per se, but also the fact that they don't, most like dogs and most like animals live in what like urbanized, uh, yeah. you know, society, they wouldn't, they wouldn't be able to survive. Well, it's not in their best interest. And I, I think if, um, if, uh, if there were humans with, well, how do you know it's not in their best interest? It's not in their best interest because they're more likely to to suffer and they're more likely to die in in in. Well, in it sounds conditions. like you're kind of applying. Well, I mean, like I, a human, be, you're applying like a, you're applying like the humanism to dogs, right? Like it's how do we know it's not in their well, best? I, just be just because they might die sooner doesn't mean it's not in their best interest. They may be happier running around free than being bound in a house all day. I mean, I length of life. I, I, I don't. I don't advocate that people adopt dogs and then like leave them in the house all but that's day. That's kind of what I happens. Think, so I think obviously. Oh yeah, no. I mean, I mean. Well, I think that if you should adopt an animal, you should be prepared to give that animal a, um, you know, a, a, a meaningful and uh, fruitful life. Of but course. that's probably just not um, going to happen. I mean, most dogs, like at best, most dogs just sit in the house all day and kind of just dick around, right? So, yeah, and and that's so it, an ethical problem with yeah. the people that are adopting animals. But that's, so that's just kind. That's that, just what's that, going to happen. But that's not. But there's nothing. But there's nothing inherently wrong, is what I'm saying about adopting an animal. And I think it's. And I think adopting an animal and giving it a fruitful life is preferable to letting it mm -hmm. roam the streets where it will likely get right. But then the car, alternative starved. is we can put the, we can we can take them out of urban areas and put them in somewhere else, right? And we can stop like breeding them in general. We could just overall. Reduce I mean, the dog where are we gonna? Where are we? Just well, we just put overall them. We're just like find some random ass land. And so where are we going to put all? So where are we going to put all the cows and where are we going to put all the cows and pigs that we stop eating? And then going to like find like an area well, in, well, in the field. We would, like, we would eventually. We would eventually. Well, there there are animal sanctuaries for those who get rescued, but um, mm -hmm. we would eventually uh, phase out the breeding of these animals. So there you go. We phase um, out the breeding of for, dogs. So would you say that you think that we should phase out think, like, oh, the ownership I, of dogs? I think that. I, I do not agree with breeding animals. Well, for no, 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 not purpose. yeah, no, right. So, you think we should like phase out like the ownership of dogs? Um, I don't know whether or not breeding them is going to necessarily phase out the ownership of dogs, but I don't even uh, think of it as the in, an ownership uh, relationship per se. I think of it as more of an adoption relationship where you're. Um, you're providing for another being uh, in order to just look out for their own well-being in the same way that we do for uh, humans who can't, you know, take care of themselves on their own. Mm -hmm. I think that it's, it's you know, uh, in, in, in any context in which there is a sentient, um, you know, I, I, I attribute person, put personhood to not just humans, but in any way, uh, if there is any sort of sentient being with like a type of personhood that wouldn't be able to make sort of um, decisions on their own or be able to uh, live on their own. I think it's totally ethical to um, sort of take care of them. Okay. Of course. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I mean, okay. Would you, would you think it, do you think it, it, it is morally wrong um, if I were to, you know, go to my barber and um, ask him if he could kill a dog for me so I could, eat it because i value the taste pleasure if i went if i went to the adoption center right now bought a bunch of dogs mm -hmm. brought them brought them to like some uh butcher um, and then said maybe it would be okay because a lot of times we have a lot most shelters are kill shelters so they're gonna die anyway so like logically speaking you're better off. okay so as, assuming dead. assuming this wasn't a kill shelter and assuming that otherwise these, these i would dogs say would be would have would have would, would, would have been i would say if it wasn't i that. would say that if it wasn't a kill shelter then morally it's wrong because you could have went to a kill shelter and got so them, then so then, anyway so yeah 
So then why is it ethical in the context of like pigs, for example? I'm really, which, which well, have, I, 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 I already said, like, no, I'm totally fine with, like, honestly, as a society, the only reason we don't eat dogs is because we have some kind of subjective value to dog, like with dogs. Like, I don't, like, if we ate dogs and we put them down and killed them, I wouldn't eat it. That sounds kind of gross to me personally, but I'm not really morally against eating dogs. So you're not, okay. So, so you I think that if you, I think, I think that if you can kill, I think, not. yeah, I think if you could kill, if you kill an animal humanely to eat them, then it's okay. Um, what, I mean, I, I think the, the clean, I, I, think the clean entire, kill. I think the entire concept of humane slaughter is an oxymoron. You can, you can not really, you can, you can, that, no, 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 you're overcomplicating it. No, you can, humanely. you can, you can humanely kill an animal. Like, you I can, mean, you, I, it, it would depend on what you, uh, think of your definition as that's humane, for sure. But, like in some, in like third world country, clean. well, hold on in like third world countries, like humane killing would be like, you know, a, a knife to the throat. I think that's a little barbaric. They have like bolt guns to the head for like cows instantly dead. Like, yeah, like humanely killing something where it dies. Bolt, bolt, bolt guns a lot of the time are not instant. And okay. So then we need a better, so then, like, then we would need a better way to, to instantly kill something. We, but like, I think, a lot, plen- but I you mean, can, you can of, humanely kill. You can humanely kill somebody, or you something. Can, you can hum, you can humanely slaughter a human. You can humanely or, kill a or, thing. You can humanely kill something. Yes. You can so okay. So you can humanely you don't, slaughter in it. A, you, a yes, human. you can. No, you can humanely for, kill somebody for the for the purpose of eating that human. Uh, no, because I don't think that because like animals, like I wait, value but, humans well, why more. Does it, wait, I, you're you're what, you're you know I, I I'm not a big debate term guy, but you're totally intentionally trying to like what is it a straw man? Like I just said, you can humanely kill something, and you're arguing you can't. I'm simply saying you can humanely kill right, something. Right, but yeah. what is it about the definition of of humane that would be different in the human context if you if you said? Do that you it, believe in euthanasia? It, 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 um, I don't think that euthanasia is. Is slaughter. It's not. Slaughter. I don't think that killing everything is slaughter. You're right. being hyperbolic. D- I'm d- simply saying sure. fundamentally, you can humanely kill a thing. Yes, you can humanely kill okay. humans. Okay. You can humanely can you, kill can animals. You hum- yeah. Can, can you humanely slaughter a pig for food? You can humanely kill a pig for food, 100%. Okay. And then so why can't I humanely ki- kill a human for food? What is it about the term because human? Mean, because no, because only... humans. Because humans are I have higher value than animals. Like I, I but that, but that's we're not, omnivores, that's, that's right? Not, so we we we're designed to eat animals. The, right? There's nothing about the definition of humane that would like. There's not some like bar level. Do you of, like, like how, how? No, much there's value not. You most you most th- all things in society are social constructs. So the so hu- humanely is a social so, construct. So it is based on our society. As to what humane would be, or humanity, or whatever sure. humane killing would be. So, like at this point so, now, you're getting way too. You're you're really just retracting from the argument too much. Like you can humanely kill anything in any society. Yes, it is up to that society's subjective value of what humane means. But you can, in our society, humanely kill something. I think language is extraordinarily important. And yes. so when I hear the word humane, I think of the definition, which is showing compassion or benevolence. And yeah, I don't sure. think that slaughtering something um, merely because you've you have uh, some sort of like taste preference for that thing is uh, humane slaughter. And there's also nothing about um, the definition. Well, of there, humane well, by inflict, that would, that would, inflicting the minimum of uh, the minimum of pain is another definition for humanely. So, yeah, you can humanely. OK, so then you can humanely slaughter a human for food. No, because humans, because you're, you're not your, even making an argument anymore. You cannot you, you can you can't eat people. Right. That's my whole thing is like people are better than animals. So, like, I would never advocate for that. You're not even making an argument anymore. I'm you're not, just, keep, I'm you're not, just well, pivoting the, back I'm to this not, argument. Like this is like a straw man. You're pivoting back to me somehow. It's, it's, no, 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 no. You're trying to make it seem like I would be okay eating people, but I never said that. So now you're just constantly like pivot, like stop. With no, the human. I, it's, I'm it's not irrelevant. Even, I'm, I'm, I'm not even claiming whether or not it's ethical under your view. I'm just saying by y- your definition, there's nothing mm-hmm. about the definition of humane slaughter applied in an animal context, which if applied in a human context, would mean that it would that the definition somehow changes. No, 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 it, it, it doesn't. No, 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 no. It doesn't. No, it doesn't. No. See, here's the thing. If you're you're if you're trying to argue, uh, like mm-hmm. the humanity of killing, that's one thing. But like, not for the outcome of eating. If you like, it's you're, it's just not the same argument. Like, I'm I'm saying you can humanely kill an, a human. You can humanely kill an animal. But then somehow you think that I'm saying that I want to eat people. But I've never said that. Like, no, if I, you no, would humanely I, kill. No, you would humanely. You would humanely. <laughs> you keep say, You keep bringing it back to humanely eating people. Like, no, it's not what I'm talking about. Well, like, you can humanely you, kill a person th- and a humanely kill an you, animal. 
Okay. Well, okay. I'll, 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 I'll leave it at this. I'll just on the humane point. Uh huh. You specifically, you think that the term humane killing is, um, is accurate in the animal context when it is in a context in which we're just killing that animal for food. However, you don't as think lo- no, no, that it's, it's as long the as you term- kill it nicely. That's what I'm basically saying to dumb it down. a little Okay. Bit. Yeah. Sure. 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 But when I when I see when I see a an animal getting killed for food, mm-hmm. and you say it it is an accurate statement to say that that was a humane killing, when when I when I look at, it, for example, if a human were killed for food, there's no difference in those two cases. I wouldn't kill a human the, for where food. Where the though. term where the hum, where the term humane killing, according to your definition would change in a way where it wouldn't be accurate to say no but what you're doing um, every time okay you to... every time you talk about you're changing the outcome right so i've established that humans are more valuable than animals right subjectively so like my goal would now like you can you humanely kill a person for food no because they're a person but animals aren't people and they have less value so you can humanely kill an animal for the outcome of food yeah totally Nothing about the definition of humane. We literally, okay, we okay, literally, okay, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, something about the definition of humane by inflicting the minimum amount of pain. There's different definitions to words. Like, yes, you can humanely kill an animal. Reduce the, 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 you can minimize the amount of pain an animal experiences when you kill it. Humanely. Yeah. Under the definition I just, of inflicting the minimum amount of pain, under yes. that definition, yes, we would I be already accurate, would there be are multiple definitions for can, words. You can you okay. So under that under that definition, okay. So you don't be, like the word humane. It would be accurate. I I don't think I think that it's oxymoronic, but that's besides the point. Because so it, then let's just under, take away the word. Under, you can nice. No, you, can, no. you can you can you can reduce the uh, amount of pain you inflict on an animal when you kill it. That's that better. Is that better? Like yeah, you can kill an animal in a way that reduces the minimum amount of pain possible. Sure, and you can also do yeah. the same for a human. Absolutely, and I think that we should. Okay. I think I, I, I so, also think that we should euthanize then, some people based on like particular factors. So then, under that definition, you can humanely slaughter humans for food. So no, 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 no. See, so you're doing it again. Ethical. You're 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 loading no, your argument. Because, there is no logical. There's no not, logical, there's not, no logical not, comparison. Not, no, there isn't it, because you no no in I some can, no I yes you are. No, 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 no. You're over. No, no. This is what this is basically what I'm saying. Humans have more value than animals. You can humanely kill an animal or rather you can kill an animal, minimizing the amount of a pain that it experiences for to eat it as food because they're less than humans. And you can also minimize the amount of pain a person experiences and by killing them for another reason, which would usually be for some kind of like medical reason, like maybe it's time for them to die and they make a conscious choice. But you can't say that because I use the word humane, all of a sudden I think we should eat people. That's literally no, I, that's I, I, literally I never, what you're I, That's what you keep no, saying. No, yes it I is. Said, you, I said <laughs> Yes it is. No, it is yes not. it is. I said I said no it is, no it is not. I said that the language would be inaccurate. So you don't um, like the word humane, according to you? No, I don't. Of course. So then there but, we go. No, then we minimize. I never, I never, the, I never, I never, I never, I never made. I never made an objective statement that I think that under your worldview it is ethical to kill people for food. I said that under your worldview and your uh, definition and use of the word humane it is okay to say you can humanely slaughter humans for food no that is wrong. all i was saying you've removed yeah, all that, you've removed all nuance from my from what i said no i can yes if you, you did really really want no i, I don't i no, no no i okay you can of try you know. no 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 it's yeah, no, 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 no. Listen, first of all, chill the fuck out, right? It's a lot of this pseudo-intellectual bullshit. You know what I'm saying, right? You understand that words have nuance. They're applied differently based on different things. And you understand that there's a different value between humans and animals. Because if you didn't, then you would be out in the streets like rioting uh, over the fact that we're killing like animals. You know that humans are more valuable than animals. So that you know that there's a difference even if we don't have the same, even if we don't have the same, uh, interpretation of the difference between humans and animals. So I say you can humanely kill an animal for food. You cannot humanely kill a person for food because people are better than animals and you shouldn't eat people. And you're trying to make it seem like because I use the word humanely in the context of reducing the pain required in order to kill an animal, all of a sudden I'm supporting killing people. No, like you're wrong. And it's like, no, yeah, it is. It's a weird argument. Anybody can go back and anybody who's listening to this conversation. I know you're trying knows, to overcomplicate it for never, a win. Yeah, no, you're over. You're trying, no, and this is like such no, a weird argument. I, I'm, 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 we I'm just spent 20 minutes using, on the word I'm, humane. You're, you're, yeah, you're I, mean, I think I think it's relevant if you were if you were saying yeah if you kill the animal humanely then it's okay. Yeah, you can but kill again. 
But again, if you're using the word, what humane, word would you prefer to use? Need, then we need to what apply word, a consistent definition. What and word if you, would and you prefer it, to and use? If, and if you define the word humane as just killing with minimizing the least amount of pain as yes, possible, yes. then we can also slaughter or kill uh, humans. People. This, we can also humanely kill. Yeah, There's almost nothing there. about the word humane. Hold on, hold on. There's nothing about the word humane that. that I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for you to. I'm, I'm waiting saying. for you to like propose a shitty argument because. You can apply the word the same. You can say there's a way to minimize the pain incurred when killing something, but they, you keep changing the outcome with the word. The outcome isn't, it doesn't matter, right? You can, in a human context, kill them humanely. And in an animal context, you can kill them humanely. But it doesn't mean that you're going to do the same thing by killing a person that you are when it comes to killing an animal. You're like you're being very disingenuous with your comparison. It's totally fine if you want me to be consistent with my word of hum with my term of humane, which I have been yeah, from I, the start. Think, but think, it doesn't mean that it doesn't mean that the, it doesn't mean that it doesn't mean that the end result is going to be that we should eat people. You're, you're I never, lowering. I never yes, implied you, that, that you was, constantly, no, I you never constantly, did. I never did. All I implied is that uh, your, your use of the word humane and the language regarding it is irrelevant in this conversation because I can apply that word in the human context. So you can, if you're you going can to, and I have, if I you're have. going to use the word humane as an argument for why it is more okay to, to, to kill animals rather than to kill humans, then we should, we should actually examine why you're using the word humane, the definition of the word humane you're using, and why it, it would I it wouldn't make that. sense in this context because hundred percent does the the definition doesn't change in, in, in these specific contexts. No, but you know, but you and it would be accurate and it would be accurate in both contexts. So you can't say that one is humane without the other if you're using a definition but I, that could accurately be applied to no, both. No, no, no. But I am saying that you can humanely kill a person and an animal. What you're saying is because I use the word humane when it comes to killing an animal for food, that means that I must think it's humane to kill people for food. No, I'm saying that's what that you said like six I'm, times. I'm saying I'm saying that by the definition that you used and the and the definition that I asked that you used, <sighs> it would be an accurate. It would be accurate. Just analytically speaking, using the words and the language to describe what we are talking about, it would be accurate to say that it is. Um, it is also uh, humane slaughter to kill a human for food. That's simply it. But no, but I, no, 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 I no, no, no. I, no. I, I just, I just so you know, like, I mean, we're not going to agree on this. You're wrong. Sure. I'm not okay. like you can't, you can't just decide that because I think that you can kill something with, with, with the reduction of pain. That I, that must mean that in every situation where I think you can kill something for reduction of pain, all of a sudden means it's okay to like eat. Them. I, I just don't understand. Okay. Like you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know that in the context of when I talk about humanely killing a person, it's for some form of like euthanasia, where like they're suffering, and we as a society decide that maybe they should be able to um, choose to die. Right. It's different. It's just different. There's like you're removing all nuance from it to try to make a weird point. You're just making a I, weird, I over think... over nitpicking the definition of a word. It's not. It's not nitpicking it when is. we're talking about. We're having a philosophical conversation right now, and sure. And you're removing. And you're removing all nuance from it. You know exactly what I'm no, saying. No, I'm using. I'm you know using exactly language so that we're having no, a clear you know, conversation. No, you're not. You're and not, if you were, and if you were honest, if you were honest with me, if you were honest yeah. with me, and if you, and if you wanted to. Um, use the word humane accurately you would say that yeah okay descriptively speaking it is it would be humane slaughter to kill a human for food but no. i don't think that that's ethical and you can you're hold that yeah, view. again you're nitpicking you can hold, it's you so can hold that view and we can go into why you don't think it's ethical but you but you you can't say that it that that you're yeah you're just wa you're walking you're, you're just like you're begging for like a win here like you're be you're you're <laughs> over complicating this like you know exactly it's, it's no, 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 you know, no 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 you know no no you know exactly what i'm saying let's be very clear here like i know that you're trying I, to gaslight the fuck out of me. hold on just let me talk for a second because you you sure, uh, sure. yeah i know you're trying to gaslight people into like this weird perspective that i had but simply put what i'm saying is that there's a way to kill animals humanely in the context of with the most like the least amount of pain inflicted on that animal that's all i'm saying and there is a way okay. to do the same thing for humans okay the purpose of the humane killing is a different thing. You wouldn't, I don't think you should kill people for food. I think that you can kill animals for food. What you're saying in like the ending of your thing. Yeah, sure. But like, you know exactly what I'm saying. And you're trying to make, you're trying to overcomplicate this a very simple argument. We've been arguing about this for like 30 minutes. Anyway, let's get back to it. Like, yeah, I can think that, okay. I think that you can reduce the infliction of pain onto animals when you kill them. And I think it makes it more morally right to kill them. 
Okay. All or right. Ethan, um, I, I'm going to discontinue engaging with the humane argument. Um, okay. okay. Right. Let, let's, 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 let's circle it back. Okay. We said, we said that, um, you do, uh, you do think that there is ethical consideration sure. for well-being, but you think it is okay What's well to being mean violate now? the well-being of animals. You think it is morally ethical to violate something that you think has ethical consideration i think That's that like i think that i think that it that it's like yeah i think that it's reasonable to say like okay animals have like they they, they have we can empathize with animals right they're yeah. similar to humans in some ways and so i think it's something to consider as we move forward but yes overall i think that the pros outweigh the cons so like yes it's, it's still okay to eat animals yeah the pros outweigh the cons yes. so do you just think of this in terms of what utilitarianism uh, I think that if so, okay, we already like agree on part of this. Like, if right now just not eating animals would just like it would just have like a drastically negative impact on the. Okay, I, I I know you keep going to this, but I really want to like hone in. No, I just no 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 right? like hone in on what yeah. my no no hold on my overall hone in. my overall perspective is that I think that as a society we should make reasonable slow shifts towards reducing animal suffering and even eating animals, right? But it's not practical mm -hmm. to cut it off right now. That's my whole thing, right? I so also think that we you, should have conversations about laboratory meats as well. Yeah. So, what you do? You think veganism is at the very least? It, you, if you, if you agree that we ought to eventually transition into veganism, that are you sure. making a moral statement when you say that? Do you think it is it is, it is uh, morally good for society to slowly transition to veganism? Sure, there's a lot of factors. I mean, like, there's the probably one of the factors I think there's like environmental positives as well. Yeah. And why don't you be a part of that moral goodness? Because then? I don't give a shit about animals. So why? So you don't give a shit? Like, about I don't. I really don't you, care that much but, about. But, like, but, I, but I, I can't. Claim I care enough. I care enough. That I think that as a society, like I don't want to see animal, like I don't want to see animals suffer, but I don't have to watch them suffer to eat my food, right? That's what we have, like this this great thing where it disconnects me from actually experiencing like the uh, emotional negatives of I don't, know, animal suffering. I, I'm having a hard time with I, this idea that you think something. I think you're trying is to camp morally me. good to do, but you don't give a shit about doing it. You, you I think that you're. I think is... I think that you're trying to like put me in like a camp, like one side or the other. Simply put, what I'm saying is I can empathize with animals, and it's and when I I see like a pig on a truck sitting in its own shit, that's that's that sucks. But I gotta eat, you know what I mean? And like right now, like yeah, there's definitely like a taste good, and like animals have less value than humans. So I think as a society we should change. But like I don't I don't feel like increasing the amount of money I spend to buy healthier foods. <laughs> And also animals taste good. And like, I'm just being honest with you. I know that when it comes down to like, you oh, morally inconsistent. I get it. That's fine. But I'm just being like reasonable and logical. Would you, you, would you just. Or rational. Or, 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 like, wait, 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 wait. Well, you just just rela said, relax, you just relax, relax. Reasonable you... and rational with you is what I meant to say. Relax. Right. Me. I know. But you, you just kind of like said, yeah, like I get moral consistency, but yeah. I'm just being rational. But it doesn't seem like you're being morally well, consistent if you I, both acknowledge I just changed, something is I more moral to do, but then simultaneously. I I I just I it. just said like I misspoke. Let me ask okay, you a question. Right. Let me ask you a question. Do you think that it's really yeah. terrible that we like utilize like uh, the suffering of people in other countries in order for us to get things in general? Like, do you have a computer? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you, have like oh, a, yeah. you have like an if iPhone. You, wanna... you, you know. I know. I know. You have an iPhone, right? So, like, your mm -hmm. iPhone. My. I have an iPhone, and I have a computer. These things were created off of really shitty labor conditions for Absolutely. people in China and other people. Mm -hmm. Are you going to stop consuming that thing? Um. No. And I can why? explain why. Yeah. Tell me because. Why. So the reason why. Um. There. So there is exploitation, right? Of course, in in yes. the commodity consumption that we participate in regardless of whether or not it is an animal product or not yes the difference is is that when i buy an iphone and when i buy a computer and when i buy a t-shirt there's nothing about the product in and of itself that inherently required exploitation in order to um sure yeah. but it did but it but it did but are you are you are you are you shifting are you shifting towards products that don't require exploitation can 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 i finish sure you can so, finish so, so when, when I think of the moral obligations of consumers, 
-hmm. I think that consumers should at the very least not participate in things that inherently the product in and of itself required exploitation, sure. which you cannot, which you, you cannot disengage when with. So this is why, like, I know fucking um, Vosh has an atrocious, atrocious argument when it comes when it comes to this. Um, when it comes to yeah, when it comes to consumption for anything human related or animal related, I, I don't expect consumers to consume in products that required exploitation. A phone, a shirt does not require exploitation to produce. It mm -hmm. does, it, it, it had exploitation because of unfortunately the, um, the system that we live in and the, uh, the sure, the but you can, but the, you can shop outside, you can shop outside of like exploitative systems. Like you could research, uh, whatever, like you don't need it specifically. Not, not, not necessarily. But the thing is, is even with yeah, veganism, it's mo it's the most as practicable as possible. Sure. So I'm sure but... that like, for example, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting on a desk right now. They probably used glue that had some form of animal products, but veganism never seeks to just exclude every single aspect of your life that may have one eensy bit of animal products. Some people need certain medication that was tested on animals. Some people have um, other, but it's most, it's what is most as practicable. And in this, and then with the same respect, mm -hmm. if there were um, human products that like app, that the product in and of itself inherently required exploitation there was no way to produce it without that exploitation which I there actually are ways to produce yeah. iphones there, there no, are I, ways I, to I, produce shirts yeah, and sure, iphones sure. without exploitation so why don't you sure. okay but like why don't you just purchase like a different phone or a different piece of clothing that didn't require that suffering why aren't there, you being there it, because well number one boycotting the industry doesn't there's no there's no reason to believe that by boycotting the industry would make the lives of those uh, okay so why don't better. you only so why don't you wait it doesn't make them better so what you're saying is that like they're better off being exploited than nothing um like, well you're saying that we should well, support, we actually, should wait, wait. you're saying is, wait 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 wait, 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 wait just wait yeah you're saying that we, it's okay to exploit the system i'm just a little no, confused no, you said I, that you said that they wouldn't be better I, off if we didn't purchase my, their products yeah. So, so, so for example, so we shouldn't like boycott a those a corporation. So if, for example, a corporation is exploiting people abroad. This uh -huh. is wrong. Yes. But you just said if you shouldn't that boycott that system. If that, if that corporate, th this corporation should not be exploiting people abroad. Sure. If people were, were to boycott this, uh, this corporation, it goes out of business. Those people who that were exploited are now out okay, of the job. Okay, hold on. Okay, that's yeah. That I get it. I get also it. a that is also okay. A bad okay, thing. okay. 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 So basically, what you're saying is you shouldn't boycott exploitive or exploitative systems because they're just not going to have like. So we shouldn't fight for change. No. It seems no, like no, it's no no, no. no no. You just said no no. Hold on. You just said <laughs> that you just said that we shouldn't boycott iPhones because then they're going to lose their jobs. So you're saying that like we should just keep. You're totally fine with living. How do we change no, it if we it, don't boycott it's not, it? It's I don't not understand. that it's not that we don't boycott iPhones because oh well they'll lose their jobs. It's just it's just That's that my said. boycott my boycott cannot be proven to make a um an a a legitimate uh like beneficial for that per for that uh uh person's life but in terms of products that inherently require exploitation no, 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 it hold, can be demonstrated it, to, it can be demonstrated to do i so, just want right? to establish yeah. that you fundamentally just said that you shouldn't boycott things because it's just not going to work no, I think that there are. I think there are certain products in which that boycott doesn't. If we boycott, if work. we boy, if we boycotted iPhones and we decided to, somebody else came up with a phone boy, that was a little more expensive. Boy, Hold on, and we decided to invest in some other phone that was more expensive, but it didn't require you know some form of suffering to make. That would that would cause the iPhone to go. Oh, we need to change our system. So it would work. It sounds like that was a very like lazy response. I was like, well, no, no, I'm, well, it's that, okay. That, that, Wait, that hold on. Well, it's okay. To, it's okay for me to keep. <laughs> it's okay for me to keep consuming iPhones and not try to change it because, like, it's not going to help anybody. Anyway. Right, but that assumes that assumes idealism, and what I'm saying is that's how that's uh, literally that's, that's how that's how activism no, no. works. That's how activism works. No, I mean, yes, it some is. Of us, some of us believe in. I, I I can guarantee you. Um, I I've studied plenty of social movements and activism. Social activism activism is, works by it doesn't not, it doesn't yeah. it doesn't merely usually often it comes with disruption mass um mass forms of movement that um that like uh, get individuals 
to change on a policy material level. So then why like don't we, you advocate like, for like, that when like, it comes to like, like consumer, the iPhones? consumers randomly just deciding that like, hey, this isn't really- Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. So by this Let's logic, go, no, this isn't, this isn't a real thing okay, that happened. This entire logic set basically says that I don't have to individually go vegan because it's not going to matter. That's what you just said. No, no. Yes, it is. <laughs> That's what you just said. No, yes, it, I, no, no, no. Yes, it did. Hold on. Just- the beginning of this conversation- No, no, you just- Hold on. Just literally- I quite yeah, literally okay, okay. in the beginning of this conversation oh, said that I only expect moral obligation from consumers to not consume things that the product inherently requires exploitation because because there is there is something to be said about the system that it's that has that, just, that has I understand what you're labor. saying but you just said that you shouldn't boycott particular things because basically you need a massive like revolutionary yeah, movement to hold on a second no like you, no, no, no 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 that's yo not you need, you, that's you, not you, why listen I said that. you need to stop talking so much like just chill out like you're constantly talking. Like, let me make a point. Okay. Like, just chill out. Right, a bit. Go for it. Go for it. Okay. We just talked about like iPhones. You said that you as an individual mm -hmm. shouldn't have to remove yourself from buying an iPhone because activism doesn't come with like massive revolutionary change. So nothing's going to matter if you specifically. That's not what I said. So then what is, what did you say? Because it is, you said that you shouldn't boycott it because it's not going to make a difference anyway. And, it, and then you said you studied in it and that you have to have massive revolutionary change in order to change things. No, I said that that's the way that change ends up functioning, but often with, okay, with in, terms so of, in terms of economic and political, um, in terms of economic and political, like yeah. material change. But this is, but, but the question of veganism isn't an economic no, 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 it doesn't, question. it doesn't, it doesn't, no, no, it's no, no, not, it's not, it's, it there is. isn't something about the economic system that we live under that makes, um, killing animals for food exploitative. It doesn't, it, no, no, it doesn't matter. You know, you're loading it, you're loading it because it's inherent. You're loading, no, wait, wait, you're wait, loading wait. the fuck out of this conversation. We fundamentally <laughs> just said like you're trying you're trying to pivot off of this one argument it doesn't matter it doesn't matter pivoting it doesn't matter that the system it does matter. just it listen 100 holy matters. shit let difference. me let me finish let me finish what i'm saying sure let sure, me finish sure. what i'm saying it doesn't matter that the one system has inherent abuse while the other one doesn't have to have the abuse if you're saying that individuals making better choices are and boycotting particular industries isn't going to make any real change without like drastic activism, then you have to apply that logically to both. So what you're saying I, is that I don't have to well, individually go, hold all, on, I'm, hold on. What you're, all, what you're saying is I don't individually have to go vegan because it's not going to make a difference. Just like you don't individually have to stop consuming iPhones because it's not going to make a difference. Boycotting it isn't going to be a, a, a net gain. So no, there yeah, is a fundamental said. difference when the exploitation is coming out of the system that produced the product rather than the product in and of itself. No, it when doesn't. it comes to cons when it comes to yes, it does. No, it because the result is the change. It's not going to matter. Okay, okay, it's not okay, going to matter. Now you, got, now you can't interrupt me. Now you can't interrupt me. Okay, it's my turn. All sure, right. Go ahead. When See, it comes to when it, when it comes when it comes to consumers. Um, and whether or not I expect them or, or they have a moral obligation to make uh, ethical consumerist decisions, I expect those decisions to be based on whether or not the product in and of itself required exploitation. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I said when it comes, the reason why I don't expect them to engage in ethical consumption under products where just the system is exploitative but not the product in and of itself is because that because the the um their choice in whether or not they they are consuming shirts or whether or not they are consuming phones or consuming computers is irrelevant what is wrong with the phone or the computer are the policies mm -hmm. are the systems that are creating that it has nothing to do with their personal consumptive demand of that product Whereas with animal products, regardless of whether or not system we are in, your consumptive demand of animal products requires exploitation and thus you should not engage in it. Okay. I understand what you're saying. You're saying that fundamentally, it's just basically abusive to consume animal products, but it's not fundamentally abusive to consume like an iPhone, right? That's what you're saying. Exactly. exactly. No, no, okay. Okay. So okay. Like hold on. Hold on. I understand what you're saying. Okay. So do you think that I should avoid eating animal products? And do you think that that's one step closer for us to reducing animal suffrage? Considering the fact that you have an it's incredible a it's platform. A, hold on. No, no, no. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's a yes. So I should stop eating animals. Yes. So sure. by mm -hmm. the same logic, should I stop consuming an iPhone? 
No, because your demand oh, no. for um, phones has no no. But I can I can, I don't. But phones, I don't need an no iPhone. Relevancy to whether or not that phone is going to be. It doesn't uh, matter. No, no. But we're still. But is somebody still somebody. It's still created through exploitation. I'm sure. Yeah, but your I'm your demand for it doesn't have any relevancy to that exploitation. Mm, yes, it does. Um, no, it doesn't. We can we can if we if we if if uh, if you know uh, our world system changed in a way in which if our world uh, system we, changed it, yeah like th that's very ideal like, like I policy understand. policies yeah. uh, no 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 this iPhones would be more expensive material policy right if, if it changed in a way in which that uh phone wasn't exploitative you would still keep your demand and the oh phone sure but it's not but we're not so there's nothing wrong with your consumer demand for the phone that it is wrong. it sounds like we're okay with supporting slavery and whatnot for when it of comes course to not. Well, okay. Well, let me ask you. Why do you? Why do you consume? Like you obviously. It's the. It's with... the same. It's really this. The same thing is that I'm so disconnected from it. Unfor as much as I care when we talk about it, I'm a human being, just like most people, just like yourself and my myself. When it out of sight, out of mind, kind of a deal where we stop caring once we stop having the conversation. It's a really shitty flaw of human beings. It's fucked okay, up. So. I'm just yeah, acknowledging I, I, that I'm, I'm just acknowledging <laughs> that I'm being shitty. I'm not trying to like, convince people that I'm not being shitty. Most people are shitty. We really should have. We should honestly be having more of a conversation uh, about how we there should be some kind of an American uh, telephone alternative that makes products more expensive but doesn't use some kind of like child slavery or any type of slavery. But as a society, we really just don't give a shit. You know, like we I think should. That, we well, should. I, I think the thing is, is I mean, this gets into political conversations, mm -hmm. which I, I'm, I, I want to, I just want to isolate on veganism. But that, but that, 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 uh, that's all going to come down to um, like advocacies and uh, political ideological approaches to sure. why these things are exploitative. And you may have the opinion that. Well, these companies are exploitative because, like, maybe just like the individual owner is just like a bad person. No, I think that the system. That well, no, like the systems in place, the systems in China at place are like terrible when it comes to working. Right? Sure. I mean, I would. Oh, I mean, not I would even agree just China. That, really, I would agree yeah. with. I, I I would agree that our system is for of is labor as well, yeah. is pretty much wrong almost all around the world. It's definitely worse in oh, yeah. in, in many areas. Yeah. Oh no, you're no saying like you're that. saying that like exploitation oh, yeah. of labor is it's wrong in the United States as well. Yeah, hundred percent. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. No, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. But I, okay, so but do you understand that I fundamentally the reason I, why I don't assign moral obligation to consumer demand in those pro products is because it is not the consumer demand that is the reason for that exploitation. I do understand what you're saying, right? Like I understand that what you're saying is like, listen, like this product doesn't have to have abuse associated with it for in order to, to uh, in order for it to exist. I totally get that. All I'm saying is that. Right now, with the way the system is, is we know that there is abuse in the system. And we know that, like, you can reduce the abuse in the system by not consuming an iPhone. I'm sure there's other phones. Or you can just get a flip phone. Like, you really can function with, like, a flip phone, uh, reducing it. Uh, you could you can buy... Well, hold on. You can I, hold on. Hold on. You can buy yeah, hand-me-down clothing from like a thrift store, so like it's like less um, new products, so that's less like uh, you know whatever suffering associated with it. Like, there's ways to reduce the amount that we make things. Like, uh, we we can make better choices. Sure. I mean, yeah. yeah. Sure. We can make all. We can all make better choices. I'm just saying, fundamentally, we can make better choices. <laughs> I mean, it, it just seems like you're, you know, you're very interested in animals. I totally get why. I'm just saying that like we could also extend that to humans as well. I'm 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 very interested in humans. <laughs> Believe yeah, me, yeah, my yeah, my entire good. TikTok page is like ninety five percent po politics and then five percent veganism. Yeah, it I'm looks like it, I saw I, I saw I saw that you are a fan of Tyler Bluntman here. Oh yeah, um, <laughs> a, a very big fan, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so I understand what you're saying. And I, I do, I, okay, I'm going to, because I think that we've, we've had like a, I think we've had a nice conversation. And I'm not saying we should stop, but I think we should dial it back down with like the intensity. Sure. I sure, understand sure. what you, I totally understand what you're saying, right? You're saying like, I should probably stop eating so much meat and really just probably take it away in general. Um, mm -hmm. From a purely logical, rational perspective, I probably couldn't give you a single like really good reason why I should stop or shouldn't stop eating meat, right? Like I could probably stop eating meat today, go supplement stuff, and I could like I could mm -hmm. shift my diet around. I'd probably be healthier too, right? Because the average American diet isn't even doesn't even have like a a diet of plants and animals. It's mostly just like processed shitty food, right? Uh, so yeah. I I mm -hmm. but like 
realistically, I'm going to give you just like, uh, realistically, I just don't care enough to not eat. I want, it tastes good. And I personally do value that a lot more than I should. I know it sounds shitty. We could go into a whole conversation about the addictiveness of food. Well, I don't want to actually do that, but I could bring up the factor of like food is addictive and like processed foods addictive and like I'm obese. So clearly I have some kind of an eating problem. So that could be part of the problem as well as I'm addicted to food. Um, but yeah, I'm just being real with you, man. Okay. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that you're being real with me. Yeah. Um, all, I, all I'm going to say is I think that I, listen, I don't think that anybody is inherently a bad person for not being a vegan. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I, yeah, I would say that like in terms of like assigning moral character, I think that most people are just um, uneducated, unaware and have that cognitive dissonance. Mm -hmm. I think that once people, you know, obviously I was not born vegan. Most vegans weren't. They, they um, you know, learned about veganism through um, sort of, uh, you know, just like, I guess, research online or, or what have you. Um, so I, I don't assign moral blame and I, and I didn't expect, and I don't expect anybody to come away from this conversation immediately thinking, wow, you know, I ought to be vegan after this, uh, uh, conversation. But I think that these types of conversations are extraordinarily important because I think that, um, sort of the animal rights movement is, is gaining steam. And I think that people, um, are beginning to consider why it is, um, why it is, uh, you know, um, why, why, why it makes sense for us to include animals in sort of our moral, um, prescriptions, I guess. And, and I think most people already do. Like I said earlier, I think most people already agree that, you know, um, like for example, with dogs, I don't think most people think that they grant moral consideration to dogs just because they think that they're cute. I think most people think that they I, grant moral consideration to dogs because they actually think that, you know, these beings are living and have, um, I would disagree a little of, bit, or I wouldn't like totally disagree, but I would say it's a factor because like we did breed dogs to be cute. That's like a real thing. Sure. So like, I of think course, it's part of, of it. And, like cows aren't really cute. Like, I mean, I don't think sure. so. some pigs are, but hogs are gross. So like, it's like, whatever, you know? <laughs> Sure. But I, I, I do think that most people, um, yeah, they, they use empathy as, as a means to, um, I guess, I guess, uh, uh, dis decipher what, what and what they would consider, uh, to be a part of, I guess, ethical consideration. Sure. That's fair. Um, do you think it's reasonable for people to just not give a shit about animals because they just don't matter to them? Um, like when we really break, yeah, like when we really break down anybody and, and anything, like we have, like if we really break it down, I don't know if you're a religious guy. Are you like a religious guy? No, no. So like we can, they can probably this would be like easier. So we as humans, like when we when we pull ourselves away from us, right? Because mm -hmm. human beings have very high subjective value for themselves, obviously. But when it comes to the world, we're actually a net loss. I feel like, right? Like we're a net loss to the earth. I think that you could agree with that. Um. I mean, like in terms of like the rest of the ecosystem, probably. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Like we have a horribly negatively impactful, you know, uh, you know, whatever relationship with the Earth. We're we're destroying mm -hmm. the Earth. Like we like literally climate change. Climate change is a thing, right? So if mm -hmm. we have substantially, like we have literally no value. By that logic, animals also have no value, um, other than whatever value we put onto them subjectively, because nothing really matters unless you're a religious person. Then that's a different argument, but nothing really matters. So that you think that that's reasonable for people like you know what animals don't really matter, humans don't really matter, or whatever. In the in in the same way that yeah, in the same way, I would think it is just as unreasonable for them to say that humans just don't matter as them for for them to say uh, like just some ethical nihilist perspective of like oh nothing matters. Um, I, I think I think it would be just it would depend on like what's motivating when we say like reason and like what is. Um, yeah, I guess what is reasonable for them, it depends on like what is motivating their ethics. And I think most people have a, a, um, sort of an ethical framework as is. And I think it, 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 it logically extends to include animals in their ethical framework. Because I think most people, um, like if you ask them on, on, on sort of a, a foundational level, why they um, consider humans to be a part of the ethical um I guess considerations they would appeal to things that animals have, which is um, well-being, experience, etc. Mm, that's fair. Okay. Uh, let me ask you this question. I never got to ask this. What sure. do you think about the idea of laboratory meats? Um, I haven't done. A, a lot of people have asked me about this. I don't know enough of information on it to comment. Really, I mm -hmm. think 
I think if if we don't if it doesn't require exploitation um, or uh, further harming animals, then I don't necessarily at face value see anything ethically wrong with it. But I um, I would I would I would ask people to be cautious health wise. Just sure. considering, um, That's yeah. That's fair. You know, I think that like lab meats is something I, I, I advocate for a little bit more because you know, like I'm somebody that likes to eat meat, so I would. It's like that's a nice, uh, I guess, alternative. I suppose yeah. is the word you can use. Okay. Yeah, I mean, again, if if it doesn't require exploitation, I'm more than happy for people. I think, I think, honestly, if we were to, I think veganism is likely at least within the next like 50 years going to become more of a mainstream, um, I guess. Uh, topic of real consideration for people as the vegan movement grows and i think once we start to think from a policy level and once we maybe incentivize uh the united states for example to not subsidize meat and dairy and watch those those prices skyrocket as you know oat milk is still going to remain incredibly cheap Mm -hmm. um people will realize that uh there's plenty of great alternatives Mm -hmm. and most of the alternatives especially nowadays are um just just as good if not at least just as good as well there's uh, also the real things in sort of t- in terms of taste there's also like conversation to have about how unhealthy milk is and how we think it's healthy um which is definitely like a societal thing but also because i know that like the the meat and dairy industry is subsidized like 38 billion dollars a year in the united states right um and like the fruits and vegetables market is like 7 billion so like proportionately um you, you understand where I'm going? Like, proportionately, are we actually subsidizing? Do you know if we're actually subsidizing meat more, or if we just consume meat at like four times greater than like fruits and vegetables? Because if we have wait, you um, said what? What did my, you say my, the numbers were? My understanding is that we have we subsidize meat and dairy at about thirty billion dollars a year, right? That's the that's the amount of money so that we subsidize. Thirty, 30 billion meat. And 30, dairy. Thirty-eight billion dollars a year, I think, is how much okay. we subsidize meat and dairy, and then about seven billion dollars a year for like fruits and vegetables. Okay. So oh, you mean proportionately proportionally to like, to what, like what our diets? Because I do like what is that seven to thirty eight billion? Was it like I don't know one in, was that one in six? So like what's like I don't know one in five, five ish, five six. You get what I'm saying? So do we consume if we consume meat at five times the rate of like vegetables? Then proportionately, it's the same. So it's it's being subsidized the same. And by that logic, um, the well, sub- I, I mean, you yeah, where, sure, but I would going? just, I would, st- I, I don't really care whether or not it's like subsidized more or less. It's no, I'm just saying that, that like, if we reduce, so if we have every, if we theoretically maintained um, the same amount of subsidies for it based on our consumption, would there, ap- would there actually be an economic uh, dis- disincentive, dissentive to eating meat? Do you understand what I'm saying? Um, I don't, I don't uh, know that I'm communicating this is the correct be, way. Uh, uh, would it be economically disincentivized enough to not eat meat? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, like I'm so, like. Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm sure, like, probably not in a dramatic degree, but I, I would assume by that point, vegan by the time by the time we would remove meat and dairy subsidies, veganism would be so popular and so accessible mm-hmm. that it it would just be it it might just be far more convenient to just. Um, pick the vegan option, which I think it's already pretty convenient. Sure. As it well, is, it's getting more but... convenient. Like even I, I generally tend to consume like almond milk now. I don't really eat a lot of, uh, or try not to drink like regular milk anymore, just because the health yeah, benefits. Dude. Really, anything else, you know, pretty gross. Too. Uh, there's also <laughs> yeah, there's like a lot of like weird sugars, and and it gets weird how much you find out like meats and cheeses are like bad. Although, well, yeah, I guess you kind of have to keep an animal. You know, is it? Do you think it's like morally wrong to 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 harvest a an animal's milk? Um, I I think like usually, yes, I can't really think of scenarios in which it would be ethically okay to, um, I know, for example, the dairy industry, um, explicitly does things in order to maximize milk production, like, uh, having cows, um, be, you know, impregnated continuously and repeatedly. Sure. And then, yeah. And then, yeah. And then they collapse and uh, there, you know, I think, I think when it, especially when it's commodified, it's wrong. I, I don't know if it's wrong. If you just like, I don't know how to pet cow and you just fucking like went up to the udders and just drink its milk. Probably. Right, yeah. Well, you I, have I, to honestly, pasture. I would have to think it. more. I would just I would have to think more about that. I, I don't really care much for that though. I think, sure. I think it'd be pretty fucking creepy if somebody did that to a dog. And frankly, I, since I don't see um, a moral 
a, a legitimate moral difference between like a dog and a cow, I would, I would, I would, I would at least apply the same. I think that type of, that uh, uh, reasoning. Dogs are cuter, so it's more okay to <laughs> like them, right? Like we beat up like ugly people in society. Well, the only reason I was asking is because, like, you know, I think that like. Because it does take come to a conversation. I think that one of the problems with milk is that you keep the animal pregnant, which means that the what if it's not a boy, you usually just veal the fuck out of it, right? Which is t- obviously terrible. I think so. Mm-hmm. Um. So, but there are hormones that you can put in like a human. So I'm assuming you can do it to an animal, like a, a cow that would cause it to constantly produce milk. So w- would you is are eggs and milk? If milk, I keep saying milk in a weird way. Is that okay? Is it would it be okay uh, I, with it? I probably not. In terms of eggs, like eggs are just a fucking period for a hen. So like if you didn't like if you just had a pet hen and then like it just had its regular period and then you just took it, it was like a totally un, it's just literally an unfertilized egg. It's literally the exact same thing that happens with like women when they're on their period. So uh-huh. if you just like took that egg and then ate it, I guess I wouldn't have a problem with that. But if you, I don't know, egg, uh, you were you, specific, you were specifically owning the chicken for the purpose for that of exploiting product. it for its eggs. Sure. Yeah, then I don't think it's wrong. I'd still think it's gross regardless. You don't think though. that they, that, I mean, because I would interpret that as maybe like a mutual beneficial situation. Like you're feeding the chicken, you're getting its eggs, you're making some money, everybody's happy, you know? Yeah, I don't know. I I would have to know more. That's about how. The but that, that's regarding it. I, 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 yeah. But that's. I, I, I try to focus on the mo- the more obvious situations as of right now. But. Right, like the bigger ones. Like obviously, you have to keep cows pregnant. Because I'm just saying, maybe we could have a uh, we can have a vegetarian world where we can eat cheese. Because I think a lot of white people like cheese a lot. You know, cheese is really good. Yeah. And eggs not, not for bad. you though. <laughs> nah, not good for you. But you know what? We're going to live a certain amount of time regardless. So like, how much does it necessarily matter? Sure. I mean, I'm, I don't eat the healthiest, most, yeah, whole foods diet in, on the planet. But yeah, well, that see that brings yeah. up another conversation too, though, because like I think that like the, the a lot of the unhealthiness of meat, I do think, comes from the fact that like we have a lot of processed meat foods, right? We don't really do that with vegetables as of right now, but I imagine that as we get close, like the Impossible Burger from Burger King, I don't think is any better than a regular burger. Or maybe it's more uh, better. Any be- better? Because it's maybe. still covered. I, it's the, slathered the problem, in processed bullshit. I think, I think there's probably. I'm unfamiliar, honestly, with the um, like unhealthy features of the Impossible Burger. Mm-hmm. But something about animal products that is unique to animal products is dietary cholesterol. Sure. And then something that is also unique is. Um, the, you can find saturated fats in other foods, but uh, like n- I think when you go vegan, you typically remove like ninety three percent of the saturated fats uh, in your diet. Mm-hmm. So are that is another chips thing, and, and, and both of those things are like super, um, super. Uh, what's it called? Like responsible are, are incredibly responsible for atherosclerosis, heart disease, sure. from what I'm aware of, which is the number one reason why people die in America. Do so you, <laughs> do you? Well, what about potato chips? Are those vegan? Usually, yeah. So, because those if are pretty it's just bad what for you potato too. and like potato oil and, and a like bunch salt. of terrible shit. Yeah, it's really fucked up. This is, I think this is like a lot of bad shit. In there. A lot of salt is generally bad for you, especially in high quantities as well. But like you know, yeah. if, like fats, you know, all these things are okay in, in moderation. I think. Um, yeah. But sure. Okay. Um, and I know I'm taking up your time. What do you think about that vegan You're teacher good. being banned? That's the last thing I actually wanted to ask. Oh, uh, her being banned. Yeah. Um, I mean, honestly, uh, if anything, it might be a plus. I think that the reason why people like the vegan teacher get so popular is because non vegans sort of project their depiction of what they think a vegan is onto them. I, if you like well within the vegan community, it's not like we're all a bunch of fucking vegan teacher stands. Like, People like that are, um, are, you know, put on a pedestal over, you know, I think more sane, critical, um, intelligent vegans who, uh, and I think, I think it's done for a reason. I think that people often, um, want to mock vegan activists, um, Mm -hmm. so they don't actually have to engage with the arguments because if they did, they would realize that they got a lot of thinking to do. I, I just think that the vegan teacher got popular because she was like people, provocative people tend to get popular. You know I mean, and That's ge- true. in general, mm-hmm. I mean like I'm popular, right? So, um, sure. But I mean, everybody also like very much like almost projects like the idea like, Oh my God, like she's just like all the vegans. I, like, yeah, I understand what are. you're saying. That the makes imagery, sense. You know, but I, I think that, 
it's those the same arguments thing. are usually done. Yeah. yeah, it's like the same thing with like popular progressives or conservatives. Like usually they're like the ben, sure. like the Ben Shapiro's. Like they're out of their fucking mind. Um, or sure. like, you know what I mean. And so like it makes it easier to dismiss conservative like viewpoints when you have, when you're a little bit crazy. Mm-hmm. So yeah, sure. All right. Well. A fun conversation. I enjoyed it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I think, uh, yeah, it was a good conversation for sure. Yeah. yeah. So I'll I'll try to eat a little bit less uh, meat. I don't know what I'm eating today, but uh, I'll bread it. Will that make it better? <laughs> Does that make it more vegan if I bread it? No. Is the it is the it's the meat more vegan if they don't eat other meat? <laughs> is that still no. vegan meat? Like if I if I eat a cow because it's vegan, does that make the cow vegan? I mean, the cow, the cow would be vegan, but yeah. you eating the cow wouldn't be. So I'm, so I'm, be, I'm eating vegan meat, right? <laughs> um, I, so in some way, depending on how you define your terms, right? Yeah. So, you know, I'm already doing a great service to, uh, uh, I guess to the population. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I appreciate you stopping right. by. You take care. No worries. Right? If the, yeah, thanks for having me on. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. If you want to talk about socialism or something, you seem like a, you seem like a socialist. Uh, we could talk about that as well, mm-hmm. or whatever you want to talk okay. about in the future. So you take awesome. care. Right? Yeah, you too. Bye. Bye. <laughs> that was funny. I don't know why I'm cracking myself up with the vegan meat comment.